everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your website from a local uh, site onto a live site um, using WP All-in-One Migration. WP All-in-One Migration is a migration plugin. It, what it'll do is it'll take a, a copy of your website with all of the database um, and all of the files and you can then uh, export that from your local site and then import it into your live site um, and the site should show as it would um, on your local site. Um, so for this to work obviously you would need to make sure that the live site that you have um, has a clean uh, WordPress install on, on it um, and then what you want to do is on your local site once the site is ready everything's ready to be exported uh, you want to go down to the plugins tab here and install the w, uh, all in one WP migration plugin. So you can see I already have that here, um, but you can download it directly from the WordPress directory. Um, just by typing in the name. Um, you can see up here, so all-in-one migration. Um, and if you can't find it here, you can always go online to the WordPress directory, uh, to the WordPress website uh, .org slash plugins. Um, just on the plugin page, so it should be on here as well, and you can just download it from the WordPress website as well, so whichever way is easier for you. And then what you want to do is, uh, first of all, make sure that it's the most up-to-date version. And obviously, if you're downloading from the WordPress directory, um, or the WordPress website, it should already be downloaded as the uh, most up-to-date version. Um, and then once it's finished updating, um, the page should refresh and you should see under uh, Tools, there is um, a new tab, just make sure that it's uh, actually activated. Yes, yeah, so just click Activate. Yes, yeah, so just below, be, below tools, there is a new tab for all-in-one migration. And what you want to do is on the local site, so the site that has the uh, copy that has the actual website on it, you want to hover over all-in-one migration tab and click export. And you can then click on the green button here and export to, and you want to select file. Um, if you wanted to use, if you want, you can use all-in-one migration to make a backup of your site on your local computer. So you can backup um, via FTP or you can uh, export to Google Drive um, and just have a backup of your site. But if you're using all-in-one migration to migrate your site um, from local to live, then you want to make sure you're exporting to file. What you can also do is, uh, under advanced option, is have um, flexibility over what you're actually uh, exporting so if you don't want to export the spam comments don't export post revisions plugins you can have a bit more control over what you're actually exporting but if you're wanting to export every single thing of the site exactly the way it is then you don't need to worry about the advanced options you just need to click export export to and then just click file and then you can see this is not preparing to export and um, you can stop the export if you realize you need to do something else first but essentially this is now preparing the export and it should then load a copy of your or save a copy of the site onto your local computer. And you can see that's just loading. Um, and it gives you a sort of estimate of how much is complete. And once that's finished downloading, then you can see it's all green here, so it's asking you to download the copy of your website, and it gives you the size as well. And you just want to click download, and it should start downloading onto your um, downloads tab at the bottom. And once it's finished downloading, on the live site then, so the site where your um, site where your website will be, you instead of export, then you're going to click on import. And instead you're going to import from and you're going to click file and it's going to open your file, fire, file explorer and you want to then uh, select the file that you uh, had just made so the backup file that you just made and you want to click open and you can see 
the it's now opening the file and what it will do is um, it'll start importing everything you can click stop import um, but depending on how late you press it it might it might have already started the preparing to import um, but you can see it's preparing to import now and what's going to happen is once it's finished importing it's going to refresh your page and you'll have to sign back in again and then from there you can check to see if all of the databases have been um, moved over and if I'm making sure the site looks exactly how it how it's supposed to look. So you can see the import is done and it's telling you now the import process will over at your uh, database so what you want to do is click proceed to make sure to finish off uh, importing your site um, and then you'll have to sort of log in again afterwards. So you can see it's giving you sort of like a percentage on how much is done. And depending on how big your site is, this might take some time. So you, you can just leave this running in the background. Just make sure that your uh, computer doesn't turn off or there's and this charge and everything like that. So it doesn't turn off and uh, fail the import. Now that that's finished uh, importing, what it's done is it's logged me out. So what you need to do then is just log back in and then just have a quick check of the site. Make sure that it looks exactly how it's meant to look. Um, all the pages are there, all the plugins are there, and there's no missing images or anything like that. So because this was a relatively small site, um, it was fine using all-in-one WP migration and um, worked. It managed to import everything just fine. For sites slightly bigger than, um, say, over 200, 200 MB or 300 MB, then you might, it may cause an error. It might say that you need to download the pro version, which allows you to export sort of slightly bigger sites. Um, so you can either, you can download it from the WP uh, migration website. So if we go to the website here, Um, so obviously you can download the free version, but then you can also download the um, this one here, the unlimited extension, um, so which is about sixty nine dollars a year, and it just helps you uh, it, it just helps you um, upload and export and import slightly larger websites, and you can use it on a number of websites, and it also comes with the premium support. So if you're having any issues with the with the plugin, if you're having any issues with the um, features or you're not sure how anything to use it, um, they're so you, you submit a ticket at any time and someone will get back to you in terms, in terms of how to help. Um, but essentially what you're looking for is the unlimited extension. You want to download that or uh, download the license, download the file and then um, upload it onto your site. Once you have the file uh, downloaded, what you want to do is click add new and you want to click upload plugin and you want to add the plugin, add the new extension file that you have. And just click upload it here and then just click install now. So this installs it successfully and you want to click activate plugin. Once the plugin is activated then um, you can start exporting your site. Uh, one thing that you might need to do is check for any updates. Um, if the unlimited extension plugin isn't updated, um, it may uh, not import the site uh, or export it properly. So you just want to make sure that the um, site is exported or site uh, the plugin is updated first before you do anything. Um, but once it's updated, then all you need to do is same thing. Just go into all in one migration and just export and import everything that you that you have. Um, as I mentioned previously, so you can use the plugin to uh, as a way to make backups. So you can see there's another tab here for backups. Um, and these are basically the two backups that we've made uh, so far. But you can also just click create backup to create another backup. It's just essentially exporting another copy of the site. Um, so it's another way to kind of export backups as well. Um, and the next thing then is just the settings. And these are just very brief settings. Um, if you wanted to use it as a backup, so you can limit the size of the backup and you can uh, remove backups afterwards um, if you needed to. Um, so it's a pretty handy plugin. Um, it's very easy to use. 
and just make sure that you have the correct plugin. So if your site is quite small, you can probably get away with just having the all-in-one migration. But if, it's, it, if it is a bigger site, then um, you would need to get the unlimited extension as well. And then just import and export your site um, as normal, um, or you can use it as backups as well.